Hi, welcome to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is by Juvas Devan. Here we are solving June 2022 Pure Math 2 paper. This paper consists of 10 questions. So let's look at question number 1 from binomial expansion. They want us to find the first four terms of this binomial expansion. 2 plus right 3x over 8 to the power 10. So the first term is 2 power 10. The second term is 2 10 c 1 2 power 10 minus 1 3x over 8 power 1 plus 10 c 2 2 power 10 minus 2 3x over 8 power 2 plus 10 c 3 2 power 10 minus 3 3x over 8 power 3. That's all we got the four terms already now we need to simplify. 2 to the power 10 is 1024 plus 10c1 is 10, 2 power 9 is 512 times 3x over 8 plus 10c2, 10c2 is 45, 2 power 8 is half of this, 256, just use your calculator, 3x whole square, 3x by this will be 9x square over 64 and then plus the last term 10 c3 10 c3 is 120 times 2 power 7 is 128 times 3 cube 27 x cube divided by 8 cube 8 cube is 512 we just need to simplify the terms now so the first one is 1024 plus 10 times 512 times 3 over what am I doing 3 over 8 you get 1920x and then simplify all this thing without x square 45 times 256 times 9 over 64 1620x square 1620x square plus and then the last term is 120 times 128 times 27 over 512 you get 810 x cubed that's all we got the first four terms already question number two we have a graph given and the function representing the graph y is equal to 1 minus log sine x to the base 10 and we have a table of values and there are some missing values actually they want you to complete the table to three decimal places so the function y is 1 minus log sine x to the base 10. You can do two things. You can replace x by 1 here, x by 2 here separately and get the value. But let's say there are more values missing. There are more values missing. Then you can use the table function in your calculator. You go to mode number 7 table type the function 1 minus log sine x I'm gonna use log without the base the default base is 10 right so sine x close bracket close bracket equal it's asking for the second function no second function so equal the start value is this end value is this step is the common difference so start value is 0.5 end value is 3 step is also 0.5 it will generate a nice table for you so for 1 it's 0 0.075 0 0.075 and then for 2 you scroll down 0 0.01.041 that's how we complete the table Part B now. Use trapezium tool with all the y values in the completed table to find the two find the two decimal place this value. 
so integral of this to calculate this you need to use the trapezium rule first you need to mention h clearly h is the common difference from the table which is 0.5 is a common difference and then how do we apply the trapezium rule it's h over 2 times the first y value plus the last y value which is one point first y value plus the last y value 1.319 1.319 plus 1.850 1.850 plus 2 times the sum of the rest of the values 1.075 plus 1.001 plus 1.041 plus 1.223 you calculate this and round it to two decimal places so I'm gonna use my calculator to do it go back to one so h divided by two times you need to be very careful about the open bracket close bracket the first y value 1.319 Plus the last y value 1.85850 the same as 85 plus 2 times I'm gonna open another bracket so I need to close two brackets 1.075 plus 1.001 plus 1.041 plus 1.223 close bracket close bracket again so they want the answer to two decimal places it's 2.96 is the answer 2.96 is the answer that's all let's move on to part b now part c now use your answer to part b the answer to part b was 2.96 but you need to have 1 minus not 3 plus so I'm gonna rewrite this integral as integral I'm gonna write 3 as 4 minus 1 plus log sine x to the base 10 dx if you are wondering why I'm writing this way in the original integral we had integral 0 0.5 to 3 1 minus log x log sine x dx 1 minus but here we have plus log x and we have 3 so by writing this way I'm gonna split it integral 4 dx separately and this whole thing right minus 1 plus log sine x I'm gonna take minus out so it's going to be 1 minus log sine x which is what given in part b I hope you understand this so here now I can use the value 2.96 because it looks like this right and the 4dx I integrate it normally it's 4x and then you need to sub in the limits minus 2.96 so you sub in the upper limit 4 3 is are 12 don't ever skip the steps please sub in the lower limit 4 4 times 0 0.5 minus 2.96 so you get 12 minus 2 minus 2.96 7.04 is that 7.04 that's all question number 3 now I show that the following statement is false so whenever they ask you to prove that the following statement is false you need to use counter example but again it's a two mark question so you need to show your working on the conclusion so for all n belongs to n that means for all natural numbers this expression is prime they say so I'm gonna take a natural number 1 when I sub in here it's 1 plus 1 whole cube minus 1 cube which is 2 cube minus 1 cube 8 minus 1 7 of course it's a prime but we need to prove that 
it's not a prime so I'm gonna replace n by 2 now 2 plus 1 whole cube minus 2 cube 2 plus 1 is 3 3 cube is 27 minus 8 19 is also a prime I'm gonna move on to the next number 3 plus 1 and replace n by 3 it's 4 cube minus 3 cube 4 cubed minus 3 cubed 37 is it a prime 37 is also a prime okay do you need to continue do that until you get a, a number which is not a prime you don't have to you can do mental math or you can do just your you can just use your calculator and straight away get uh, one number which contradicts the statement for example now I'm going to use uh, replace n by 4 so it's going to be 5 cube minus 4 cube I don't need to show the working 61 is also a prime I think 61 is also a prime I'm not going to sit there and check whether it's prime or not I'm going to quickly change it to n by 5 so n plus 1 is 6 cube minus 5 cube 91 91 is uh, 7 divided by 7 can be divided by 7 so 91 is not a prime so in fact you don't need to if you have written n equal to 1 2 3 leave it otherwise you don't need to show this you can straight away write when n is equal to 5 5 plus 1 whole cube minus 5 cube is equal to 6 cube minus 5 cube is equal to 91 not a prime because 91 is 7 times 13 you can do that straight away but since I have written n is equal to 1 to 3 you don't need to cross it out just leave it as it is so now you need to write the conclusion now therefore the statement is not true when n is equal to 5 for questions from proof you have to write the conclusion otherwise you will lose more question number three double i now given that the points a b c lie on a circle prove that a b is a diameter so if you take a circle let's say a b is the diameter c you can take c anywhere let's say c is in here we have learned this in circle theorem if you complete this triangle it's going to be a right angle triangle that's the concept we are going to use here so if we find the slope of ac slope of bc there should be one should be negative reciprocal of another one because they both are perpendicular lines so let's find the slope of ac first using a and c y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 6 over minus 6 is minus 1 and find slope of bc now using b and c y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 you get minus 4 divided by 4 so the minus 4 by minus 3 mm, something is wrong wait minus 10 plus 6 3 minus 7 for the first one ac is 0 plus 6 1 minus 7 6 divided by minus 6 so this number is 7 right it has to be 3 minus 7 so minus 4 you get positive 1 so if you multiply the slopes and if you get when you multiply the slopes minus 1 times positive 1 is negative when you multiply slope of two lines and you get a negative 1 that means they are perpendicular therefore AC is perpendicular to BC that implies ABC is a 
right angle triangle right angle triangle if it's a right angle triangle C is the common point therefore as per the uh, subtle theorem AB is the diameter you need to write the conclusion that's all let's move on to question number four now you have two equations it's given a and b are positive solve the simultaneous equation keep the first one as it is take the second one and combine them log a plus log b is log a b to the base 4 is equal to 3 rewrite using power you can write a b is 4 power 3 that means a b is equal to 64 take it as equation 2 and then we need to solve the simultaneous equation so from the first equation I'm going to find a which is 8 plus b sub in this into the second equation so 8 plus b times b is 64 open the bracket you'll get b square plus 8b minus 64 is 0 and then we need to solve this quadratic go to equation quadratic 1 8 minus 64 okay you get the third form so what you can do you can write a step here b is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4 a c divided by 2 a just write this term and then straight away you can write b is equal to minus 4 plus r minus 4 root 5 now we need to sub in here to find a okay we got the value of b as minus 4 plus r minus 4 root 5 but look at the equation they say a b are positive right so which one of this value is positive this is definitely negative the first value is positive so we will take only minus 4 plus 4 root 5 and then a is from equation 1 8 plus b so sub in here 8 plus b you will get 4 plus 4 root 5 that's a a is 4 plus 4 root 5, B is minus 4 plus 4 root 5. That's all.